It requires eight strength to use this bad boy. There's a gentleman. Welcome back to hey, Tom. Rolling playing game. I'm Nermato. Today is a gentleman. We we'll continue the exploring of the bunker in the mountain pass. Because, well, last time, if you have watched the previous episode, you know that we had a <laughs> we had a glorious fight over here. We fought with a with a with a mushroom that apparently was capable of driving people crazy. But don't you worry, now the mushroom is dead. And no one else, I think, will even try to make one more, I hope. But anyway, uh, we still have to, like, you know, explore this base a little bit more. There are still a few things that I would like to open up and find out. Uh, there is, for example, a safe over here that I don't have... Uh, wait, this, <laughs> this safe over here that I don't have the combination for. So we need to find that thing. And I also think there was somewhere else something I completely forgotten. i probably gonna get it at some point. But yeah, basically I need to, you know, find the rest of the secrets and after that we'll be moving us, uh, our asses out of here. And I'm kinda hoping that one of those skeletons actually has the key. Is that... Is, did that guy die in a bucket? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Tywin, is that you? <laughs> oh wait, there's a note over here. Or another card. No, it's an antidote, okay. So basically, like, the scanner is really helpful, but then again, I think... Oh, uh, okay. If, uh, I think if I'm gonna take it out and I'm just gonna press the Alt button, it kinda should light up the things I still can open, but I don't know will it actually light up items on the ground. It's kinda hard to say. Okay, I'm gonna find out this thing probably very soon. Just swap this item. Take out the scanner once again. I believe that we still have to find ourselves one more tarot card. I think I'm missing a tarot card in order to open the cell block. But the problem is, I'm not exactly sure where to look for that thing. Maybe it's over here? Maybe it's in the toilet? Maybe it's stuck in one of the closets? I don't know. No, it's just gasoline over there. And I don't really need gasoline, I think, at the moment. I don't, I don't even have room for that thing, I believe. Or maybe I do. I don't know. We should look at that. In the, cra in the tra uh, trash can, uh, fin thingy bin, whatever, I found a newspaper. And underneath the newspaper, I found this thing. What the fuck is this thing? Uh, well, useless. I was trying to look around for 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 uh, you know for the for different tarot cards, but I didn't find any. So apparently there are only five of them, or just five of them. Now the story is, if I remember correctly, mm, where is that thing? God damn it! I have to roll once again. Uh, strange note. Okay. The young magician asked three guests to visit his parallel. First came the young brother, uh, along with a faithful mouth. Second was his charming sister. His old father, bearing a huge walking stick, came last. Okay? So this is a trick, to my understanding. Because normally it would be like 1, 0, 3, uh, and 9, right? Because that's the, that's are the numbers that you can find on the tarot cards. So for example, the young sister which is the Empress, is free, right? So she came as the second one. Uh, I don't think so. I actually think that the proper combination is... Uh, okay, the young brother, then the sister, then the uh, the guy who invited them and, them, and then the, the old father. No, <laughs> that's still not the one. What the, what the fuck is the proper combination for this thing? So this is actually like one, zero, three... Nine? Oh, wait, that didn't work at last time when I tried to use this. Oh well, we're inside this prison block, boys. So let's see what's exactly happening on the guy who shit himself. Benefactor. Uh, okay. He still believes we haven't killed each other yet because of the solidarity and love for our collective. What a fool, the communist. Doesn't he know that we were so peaceful and happy even after the world went to shit? Only thanks to our thanks to our unwanted child, the little god we created in the land of scientific communism. Yes, he was the one whispering to us. Do not shoot, do not kill. That paranoia Skodowski spread around isn't special mental illness. This is a product of immunity to our child mental influence. We are breaking the con conditioning. We will die, free men. I curse this freedom. So you wanna tell me that the mushroom I've killed last time, spoiler, spoiler, was actually the good thing? Was he actually trying to make good? And I just murdered him with cold blood? Well, I don't bloody care. Oh, hello. Okay, this looks promising. Uh, 
Right. Show me your secrets. Really? Dices? <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Much appreciated, not? I wonder will the same combination work for the storage house thing over here? Nope. I need a different code. Right, so we got a letter. Uh, our benefactor. Right. Maybe it's 1-8. This is probably April. But let's put it as... as uh, as separated numbers so it would be 1815 1815 maybe that's a combination for this thing 1815 1815 uh, no that's not the one at least not for this thing there's still a suitcase around here that I haven't opened because I cannot open it because I don't have the proper combination can I open this suitcase with a code so maybe I can just you know no, I can just lockpick. Okay, that's fine. And inside? The fuck is this? A silver box filled with approximately 400 grams of odorless grey powder. According to the sticker on the bottom, it was made in Afghanistan. The fuck is this? Information, information. If you want to open the door to the storage room thingy, you have to use the same code we already used. Uh, which is the one for this one. It's the one with the dog. Okay. And inside? More dead corpses. <laughs> one with a knife, which is completely useless. And one with a memo. Before changing the entrance code to the lock, uh, for the locker, look at Tobik's picture. I miss you so much, buddy. Before changing the entrance code uh, for the locker, look at that Tobik's picture. I miss you so much, buddy. Yeah, too bad you show me this note after I've already cracked the code. But thanks anyway. Also, there's a brick next, lying next to his corpse. I don't know why. Is there anything over here? Hello? I don't think so. Okay, what's in the safe? Ah, shit. Okay, maybe it's once again the same code. It's 1185. 1185. Nope. It didn't botched. How the shit I'm supposed to open the safe? No idea. Okay, can I just, like, you know, lockpick it? Can't open. Can open. Can open. God damn it! Son of a bitch! So I was looking around to find the code for the safe, you know. And I kind of forgotten that I got myself a letter as well. Uh, death and metal, I believe? Yeah. The tempered walks in the footsteps of the old man, who's trying to catch his careless youth. Okay? So, the tempter walks in the footsteps of the old man. Uh, footsteps of the old man. Who's trying to catch the careless youth. Okay, careless youth, old man, and temptation. So, that would be... That would be... The magician is the uh, young man, I think. Right? Is it the young man? Oh, hold on a second. Or is it the fool? No, it's the fool. So, zero, then is the uh, hermit, which is nine, and then is the devil, who has, uh, this is 15. Okay? And apparently that was the code for the safe. It just worked it. And what the shit is this thing? Venir. Vysinski experimental rifle, the ultimate weapon of the pre world motherland, developed by the legendary gunsmith from Workshop of Labs. Yo. It requires 8 strength to use this bad boy! Holy shit, what is this? <laughs> no handicap for fighting in the darkness, critical chance plus 50%? Oh my god! Wait, you use... Oh, so this is what this ammunition is for. It's for this cannon! Right. 12 kilograms of wave, oh my god! I got an achievement for that thing. Is this the ultimate weapon in the entire game? Nobody told me I'm gonna need 8 strength to handle a bloody sniper rifle. Jesus! That's nice. Now the thing is I couldn't access this thing, right? It was all red and I couldn't do anything over here. Apparently the idea was that I had to go back to the generator room and tell it to reroute power to the sick bay. So the back door have now closed. Those, those door over here that we have used to enter the, the site of the, of the facility, right? So, if you're gonna follow it, as you can see, the doors are closed. What the fuck you guys are doing over here? Holy shit! Wasting my bloody ass time! 
Get over here. <laughs> you dipshit. You're supposed to go through the exit. Go. So, yeah, that door is closed. Uh, but now those things are opened, right? So that's great. So basically now what I need to do is I have to go all the way around. Through this. Through the boss fight. I think that's a boss fight, technically speaking. Through the case, we have killed all of those things. All the way around. And back to the labs. <laughs> Again. And look and look and behold, what the heck do we have in the sick bay? Right, let's sniff around. Okay. Dear Irina, I will remain that your private Ivanko may uh, that private Ivanko may look very healthy instead, but still I do not allow you to release him from the bed. Okay. Since he has been acting like a child, calling himself a boy scout, that's not a mental breakdown. That's complete insanity. This is why I want you to keep him locked and adopt in the sick bay. I I got Okay. So the guy basically went crazy. Sure, sure, sure. That's great. That's great. I wonder if we actually find any interesting uh, medical supplies in this room. Mm, I'm kind of hoping to do, to find some. Think maybe. Okay, can I go to the toilet? Actually, no. I should probably activate the scanner. There you go. Right. What's in the locker? It's locked. Surprise. That's opened. Oh great! Some more meds. Fidel. Take it, thank you. Right, open up this room. There's another dead, dead corpse inside. But we don't don't worry, right? Dead corpses don't scare me at all. Mm, okay, more drugs. Lovely, I'm gonna take them. And in this one, it's even more drugs. Yay, that's gonna come in handy, I guess, in the future fights. You take this crap. That does not look healthy. Uh, okay, what do we have over here? Okay, all of this crap. Sure, take it. Then we have some stimulants over here. Okay, that's a bottle of antidote. That's nice. A note, I believe. My friend. My body never walks the halls because the, he only lives in walls. He sends me a very pretty dreams. And when I do bad things, he screams. He tells me always, do not shoot because killing is forbidden fruit. We will live with, it, with him forever, singing dancing all together. Boy Scout Kosha Ivanenko, <laughs> 8 years old. <laughs> I think I found the bed of the private. <laughs> oh, great. And what's in the... Okay, more, more drugs. Yay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a meth lab, boys. We've hit it gold. Okay, well, basically with that thing done, I believe I've looted everything that was to be looted in this, in this facility. There's nothing else... Uh, worth of my time Maybe expect some toilet paper, but we don't really need that thing because true heroes shits with bullets I have to admit going inside that place was pretty darn sweet like I actually enjoyed that bunker uh, But then again, I kind of would like to have some maybe more enemies Because you know the plant monsters were not that scary if you think about that But then the last fight was like a whole different level of pain and agony. Like, I don't know what I actually win that thing without having explosives. If you want to do this thing legitly, grenades. You, you, you actually need to have grenades. And I really don't know what type of equipment you need to have on your guys. Or what, what type of a level to survive, like, the first uh, burst attacks of those guys. Like, maybe try to pray that those guys will go melee. Because as soon as all of them will start to spread... Uh, from the rifles using the burst then you're dead you're gonna be dead in within minutes so I, I honestly don't know what's the legit way to, to defeat those guys so ladies and gentlemen we've returned back to the very first inn that we have started our little adventure in the mountain pass but we've done everything that has uh, that we could try to do over here we found the bunker we've solved the little mystery in the castle we've uh, killed the talking mushroom we've killed the people <laughs> Mind controlled by the talking mushroom. We've got ourselves some new weaponry, some new armor. But I think it's actually time to go back to the main region of the game. Go back to our base, uh, resupply. And then, well, probably after that, we just have to go back to the dead city. <laughs> and enjoy the radiation once more. So I've came back to base. I've resupplied. I've took new ammunition. I've took new equipment. So basically, I think we are ready 
for the uh, for Dead City. So all of my guys receive a bit of upgrades and you know a bit of a more ammunition just in case. Uh, Alexander is actually holding all of the food that I'm gonna need on my journey. Um, Fidel got a promotion. He will no longer be using pistols. He's gonna be using actually the AKMS. Uh, I believe this is the same gun I am using. So yeah, he's now capable of using that thing. Also, I gave him the pistol thingy that I found from the uh, from the bunker in the mountain pass. This is a one-shot, like, shotgun pistol, but I hope it's actually gonna show potential. Hexagon got himself a new sniper rifle, also from the fight in the in the bunker, and his old rifle. Uh, he also got us, like, a, a few items that I want to sell. Uh, ammunition and anti-armor ammunition, uh, a few other items, stuff like that. Uh, what else we have over here? Fidel, okay, we've covered his Fidel already. Uh, he also got some fuel for the car. My dog is holding all of the papers <laughs> because I don't know what else I could try to put on him and then there is use truly uh, with the possible best gun in the entire game that I cannot use because well I don't have the, the right specs for that thing but I'm gonna take it anyway uh, night vision thingy explosives since they saved me last time a bunch of medical stuff uh, my hazmat suit uh, my minus hat the scanner the Geiger counter uh, radio what else money that one item for a quest that I need. I need to take a shovel. I think, yeah, if he will have a shovel with him. Okay, so I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that we are set and ready to go. There is nothing else I think I can actually prepare myself for. Like, this is the this is the best possible equipment I can get right now. Did I forget about something? I think I forgot about something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have this stupid feeling when you try to go to work or whatever, go to school, and you leave the, your apartment, you leave your house, and then they're like, did I took everything? I, I, I think I'm forgetting about something here. And before I'm gonna do anything, there are still a few quests I need to finish. And I want to finish them because I need experience points before we're gonna go back to the dead city. Uh, okay, I think there was one quest in Fogolevka once again. Where was that thing? Paragon? No, 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 no. Actually, wait, hold on a second. What's this thing? According to the former postman, because Dimi, Rosset met joined in Paragon is actually a front for a mysterious underground criminal network that sends coded messages all of the wastes. Right. I don't have time for that bullshit. Uh, where is Fogel? There it is. I need to find the and dispose of a certain Tafik Mozabikua, a trafficker in the illicit link liquid goods. How the fuck am I supposed to pronounce this thing? He'll be in the Fogelevka village. Should I do it? It's a good question. Sure. Does it pay? Probably. Will it give experience? Certainly. Do it. Uh, no. I think. Hello. Wait for me at least to enter the bar. Yeah, sure. Lovely woman. Okay, can we speak now? Hello. A dark-headed woman in her hat watches your every move with a sneer. At least she shakes her head and says, I told you already, I'm not included to talk. Bye. Hmm. I don't remember you. You're probably really not important. Uh, okay, maybe it's this guy. Tafik, nice to meet you. Hello. Fidel gives you the self elbow and whispers. Hey, I think this is the guy the smuggler was once killed. Maybe you wanna clue him in his green fate, but lure him out of the village first to keep it down the low. Sure. Uh I was actually heading for the bar. I think I'm gonna save first. You don't want any, you know, unwanted mistakes done over here. Uh how can old Tofik help you? Well, well, well. Uh I got a question for you. I'm always glad to. Hey, aren't you one of the dance men? Your face is kind of familiar. Uh, yeah, I did some work for him. Yeah, but that's not why I'm here. Toffe crisis is able curiosity. Okay, I get it. You're looking for a little something, right? The man gives you a wink and speaks in lower voice. You wanna relax with some interesting new stuff? No black lotus today, but I've got something similar. You in? Yeah, why not? What you offering? What? I can't hear you. Too loud around here. The man gets closer to you and whispers loudly. Let's go dark near the gate. The village are nervous people, and if they listen, uh, listen in, they'll snitch to the authorities. My product isn't l exactly legal, you see. Lead the way. You, you're the motherfucker who's selling the black lotus. That's one, one, the more good reason to shoot you in the face. I just hope I don't waste good ammunition on you. Yeah, wait for him to get to the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a while. And the guards around here. It's one guy over here, and one guy over here. Both armored and both are stupid. Dude, come on, hurry up. I don't have the entire eternity. 
Yeah, he's gonna completely walk outside of the city gates with an escort of like four people armored to the <laughs> to the bone <laughs> and a dog that has plating on his back. Sure, this guy is not exactly smart, you know that? Oh yeah, next to the river. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's a great idea. Mm-hmm. Just it's gonna be a bit easier to dispose of the corpse. <laughs> Unless this is a trap. Maybe there's gonna be like, you know, some guys are gonna teleport around me. Okay. Right. What? You wanna deal, brother? Uh I can finally tell you. Someone wants to kill you. Yeah? What a surprise, almost everyone wants to kill me. Despite his brave words, the man looks around suspiciously. So, who is it this time? Wait, I get it. Is he alright? I can see it in your eyes. You're a cold hearted killer. A man from Krasadimi wants you dead. The man from the factory wants you dead. A big wing from the north wants your head on a plate. Dirty Daddy owes O wants you dead. Similus of Paragon calls you his sworn enemy. Jesus fine Christ, that's a lot of people. Dirty Daddy O? What? What are you talking about? I get it. You're not going to tell. Doesn't matter. I already guessed it. It's probably Simon Spark, the fucking smog smuggler fuck. Most sledding that was working on his turf. But we are not in this imaginary dev gang people run this month's about. We're in business. Uh, we can avoid bloodshed if you leave this land on your own violation. Otherwise, I will bury you. <laughs> what you can offer? Okay. I have a vow to never again work for Spark. I don't disavow them just like that. You're making a foolish decision. Well, it's not my problem. Aim at shot. Aim at the face. That didn't do that much of a damage. Go, doggy, go! Oh, good dog. Good dog. You don't have to do bursts. You idiot. You wasted good ammunition. He didn't have that many good stuff. Oh, well. He's dead now. And nobody's gonna care. Ah, the good old catacombs of Krasadimi. Haven't been here in a, for like a long time. I actually wonder, are there any secrets around here? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe some more secrets? I don't know. Because I think there was used to be a secret somewhere over here, but I don't see it any longer. I don't know why. Right, so who ordered him? Ah, probably this guy ordered me to kill the guy in uh, Fukalevka. The new crime boss looks at you with a sly grin on his face. Invites you to sit down. How's it going? Good, good. Uh, that's just what I wanted to talk about. That's what I wanted to hear. How did it go? If Tafik Magabina was a language, it would be... It would be Latin. You killed him? Oh, that's wonderful. Those bastards needed to learn that you're wrong side of the wastes. They will be much safer growing be beets for a living on their beet farms. The man hands you a b few bills. Here's 400 rubles for revealing me of the headache. Thanks. Thanks. I killed him and you're giving me scraps, man. <laughs> okay, maybe don't argue with the boss. Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah, all that w well that ends well. But listen here, real money isn't in the low jobs like this one. Real money is for those who complete special assignments for me. Okay? Pay your attention. The man drums on the table with his fingers eventually looking up at you. First off, what do you think about Americans? I expect a whole lot of them. Americans are a number of people. I don't know. I'm pretty much neutral, I guess. Why? Ah, never mind. Just wanted to hear your opinion. Listen here. I don't know whatever you know it or not, but the last war was pretty short. <laughs> when the nukes were landed, it was over in instantly. But there was a time before the launch, a few months of skirmish and small conflicts all around the globe. Many still remember the battle for the Berlin Wall, but many other battles were kept secret from the people. For example, have you ever heard of the story of the secret American Special Forces Squadron airdropped somewhere in the mountain pass of Vos before the war officially started? It has been said that they even destroyed a column of Soviet military vehicles that's still rushing away somewhere in their very day. People like to talk shit, you might say, and I agree, but the rumor turned out to be correct and the survivors of the special forces uh, until still live among us. They've learned the language, they don't look any different from the natives, and the only thing that gives them away is a very unique shoulder tattoo. Listen silently, I'm interested in getting this tattoo. Along with the skin it's linked on. That's a bald eagle with the wings spread and below there are the words death before dishonor. Every single person in the secret unit had one. Okay? So... Uh, I need to go find one of those special forces guys. 
Yes, but this is not important to me. The only thing that matters is his tattoo. Skin with such a rare tattoos is highly val valued in certain circles. <laughs> That's just wow, smells like something Nazi would enjoy. Yeah, actually. And who's the buyer, if I, I can ask? A trader from True God, Andrew Kobilla. God only knows what he wants to do with it. Maybe he'll turn it into a nice water <laughs> letter wadlet. I can't see, rather not guess. But that's disgusting! Uh, okay. So what do you want from me? A man with this tattoo was last seen in Paragon. In the very hall of the big ship. Now listen, who, who is he nowadays? Where is he going? Is he a real American or just a local doofus with a poor taste in tattoos? All those questions I don't need answers. The only thing I need is his skin. Not at all, not all of it. Just the patch on the shoulder. Got it? Sure. Uh, I'll go find the guy. That's great. I knew I could trust you. Better go to the north of here, near the big lake. Find the guy in the hole and cut the tattoo from his arm. Much easier than marching about what the, uh, <laughs> with the likes of Tofik and the spoils of his victory. Oh, they will not disappoint. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Right. So we have to go back to Paragon. Ah, oh, great. Good thing I got a car. Okay. Right, so let's go back to the surface. Yep. Wait, this guy's new? What's new? Uh. That means someone filled tiny, uh, finally dealt with the spiders. Yeah, I did dealt with the spiders. Do you know anything about Shishak? The one who's always hated on Dan? Yeah, I heard about him. What? Something happened? I thought he was living on the on that factory. Well, let's just say that he moved at a trigger. Uh, that he moved to a tighter kind of a living space. A single room, two meters underground. Well, he probably deserved it too. If you want more info on him, talk to the mafia guys on the ship. I heard they visited them uh, not so long ago. God only knows why. What's new? Listen closely. What you guarding? Okay, no info. Right, so Paragon. Ah, god damn it, I hate to go to Paragon. I actually hope that nothing bad is gonna happen over here. Uh, right, that's the elevator, I guess, to the hidden bunker. Wait, was this thing called the time over here? I don't know. Uh, okay, so who actually ordered me the quest? I think it was her? About the bunkers. Well, I found the expedition that came to the mountain pass of Vos. Oh, great, how are they? <laughs> They're dead, killed by me. They're all dead. How? Why? How did you learn of this information? No reason. This is just how it turned out. They were killed by bandits. I'm very sorry. A pact of muted mutants attacked attack, attack at them. All men died in combat. A bunch of rocks fell on them. It was a mountain pass after all. <laughs> they attacked <at> me first. <laughs> Wait, can I actually go with this one? Can I? They attacked me first. Hmm. They attacked me first. Oh no, this is a tragedy. Such a strategy. It will impact all of us. Even if I don't know the full volume of... Anyway, guards! Guards! Damn it! Oh well, here we go. Oh, wait, what? Uh... Did I just get betrayed by one of my guys? You've got to be fucking kidding me, don't you? Burst. Okay, that's one out of the question. Stop! I love the city and its people. You are aware that those guys are cultists, right? Ah, great. Well, that's how you're not supposed to do this quest, I guess. I just hope that the enti entire city won't try to attack me. Hard to say exactly what's happening over here. Those guys are coming. Uh, ow. Yeah, Fidel, you are a betrayer, you know that? Oh, my eyes! Why did you betray me, Fidel? You dipshit! Die! Uh oh, he's still alive. I gave him a lot of meat, so <laughs> he's basically a mini boss at this point. <laughs> oh, this is not how it's supposed to end. Oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, this guy's having fun. Oh, come on, one hit point. There you go. Thank you. Fidel killed in battle. Traitor. Uh, I don't think that this is the right outcome. Just want to point out really quick. <laughs> well, but it's an interesting outcome. Why did you use the tablets instead of the steam pack, you idiot? Oh my god, I'm working with morons. Alright, get over here. Single shot. My face! Uh oh. 
See? He knows how to use a super stimulant to heal himself. You dipshit. Hexon. Ah. Walking with morons. Did he just throw a grenade? Huh. Okay. Good to know. Right. Let's try this thing one more time, but this time without any bloodshed, okay? Because apparently Fidel just loves to betray me. Uh, about the bunkers? Yeah. No, they, they killed by me. They're all dead. No reason. Uh, and now it's your turn. They were killed by bandits. I'm very sorry. A pack of mutants attacked it. A lot of them died in combat. Oh no, that, a strategy. Such death. Okay, right? It fate depends on the success of that expedition. So I was told. Well, tough break. Seems like our planet was dealt with a shitty hand. Uh, well, I'll try to keep the second expedition out of harm's way. Right, right. Nothing is over yet. Please, I beg of you, protect the other expeditions at all costs. Sure. Of course I'm gonna protect them. You can count on that thing, milady. <laughs> I was going to Paragon to fulfill one of the quests and apparently we found some bandits that the Krasidimi militia is also looking for. So, you know, hit two birds with one Kawashikov, I would say. Uh, okay, who is actually dangerous over here? Rusty Markarov, Crossbow, Rusty something and Prybar. You are totally not even like dangerous. And I'm gonna shoot you in the face. I'm still wondering why the fuck I'm not one-shotting those people. <laughs> Damn it. Why I'm not one-shotting those people. Like, I should be one-shotting every single one of them. Just don't go with burst. What I just told you. What I just told you. There you go. See? If you know, you don't have to go with burst all the time. Super stimulant has been used. Ow! Stop aiming at me. That's not nice. All right, that guy's in the back. I can't do anything to him. I hope I can do something to this guy, though. Aim it. Aim at the eye. 24 damage for aim a shot. Come on. No, don't show yourself like that. You're exposing yourself. Oh, no. This is gonna end badly. Told you. Good thing I gave you good armor. Uh, I cannot shoot for days. Still cannot shoot for days. Oh, I can shoot this guy. Aim at the eyes. 63 critical strike. Nice. Out. <laughs> Right in the balls. <laughs> oh, that's a burst. That's another burst. And he's still alive. Stop bursting. Oh my god, you're wasting my ammunition, aren't you? God damn it. Now, the guy I'm done looking for is of American origin and he has a tattoo. And he's somewhere on the on the ship. Yeah, okay. I Maybe it's this guy? Yeah, he looks American. <laughs> Uh, actually, I'm just he here to hang out and talk. Tell me a joke. Uh, no, Comrade Kovalev from Otoyoda was once calling Dan. Yeah, only because you're mentioning Comrade uh, Kovalev, you know, fuck yourself, fuck, go fuck yourself. I work it so so hard to fix his stupid ass car, and you know what? Yeah. Uh, what's on the menu? Nothing interesting, just vodka. Any questions? So, why so grim, Jim? Slow day? Yeah, we lost a lot of people recently. The local bandits are crazy and the traders are looking for ways to avoid this place. Great. Anything else? Want to, can you tell me about the Paragon? What should I fear in Paragon? Crooks and con artists. That's a, actually a life tip, if you think about that. But still, I don't know where the fuck would be the guy that I'm looking for. Maybe it's this one. Or maybe it's her, or maybe it's this guy that didn't, never wanted to talk with me. Quite suspicious, you know? Hello. Hmm. <laughs> I had to rotten talk. No, that's not the one, I guess. Maybe it's you. Uh. Ah, you seem to know my buddy Hexagon here. Not really, I was mistaken though. Hey, comrade, why are you standing all the way over there? Let me take a look, closer look. Wait, what? Well, what else what? It's right the Turk of himself, but how? What brings you here? After all this time in camps, after being exiled to America? Wait, hold on a second. I can't believe I'm hearing. I've been writing your books all my life. Topic and the shock, uh, shock workers, Mishia Borsic, the adventures of Razorus, Razorus and the Red Planet, the scene where the Humpty Dumpty steer Lazarus apart with their bare hands for overwhelming the communist regime on Mars is haunting my dreams till this day. 
Okay. Right. Sure. Can you remind me how our Hex, I mean Turkov, ended up in a guac? Well, Comrade Turkov didn't tell you himself? Well, mm, as far as I know, he wrote an open letter to Comrade Stalin suggesting that we hand over Leningrad to the Nazis. <laughs> temporary! Hand it over temporary! <laughs> oh, good one. Right. Uh, enough with Hex again, let's talk about something else. Uh, a couple of questions, what you're selling? Precious goods? Yeah, great. I bet this jar of <laughs> cucumbers is really bloody precious. Uh, okay, but that's not the guy. Maybe it's maybe it's below deck. Is it just me or this guy is new? I don't remember him being here before. Hi there. You, you want something? It's pretty hot here in the hall and the man is sweating professor. He looks around all nervous like. Why are you so nervous, buddy? How did you get into Paragon? Just curious. Had anything interesting around? Why are you hiding your shoulder like that, buddy? You wounded. The man shakes a bit and hides his eyes from you. Uh, it's nothing. Oh, really? Quit lying, man. Are you hiding? Maybe a tattoo? Damn it, fine. Here, look. The man pulls down his collar and the shirts and shows you a high quality tattoo. A bald eagle with wings spread wide, soaring above the words death before dishonor. After showing you the tattoo, the man hides again. Did it my youth. He was an idiot back then. Oh, really? <laughs> the man pales and takes a step back from you. How do you know? God damn it! How did you know I'm American <laughs> Special Forces? Uh, just don't tell anyone, okay? Gotcha! Crack at you like a nut! And to think that a scum like you would, um, uh, would use our noble Soviet bird, the White Head Sea Hawk, as a symbol of such a terrible, treacherous deed! This tattoo needs to be redone with this vision of the devil instead of the bird! It should dispact Balzebub, the lord of the flies and the capitalists! Calm down, old man! I'm begging you! Don't get me killed over a stupid bird! Uh, how did you learn our language so well? Had a quick course doing base training. They landed the rest of the surviving side by side with the locals. I had an amazing learning ability before. I started drinking with the local vodka. High IQ as well! Didn't take the retards into special forces after all. And yet you are here with a tattoo that you didn't even try to remove or actually really do or something like that. Tell me how you stayed hidden for so long. How, how, how indeed? Long seals and a natural attitude. The rest came naturally. Poor, hungry, homeless. People all look the same, no matter Soviet or American. We bombs. We bombs have no nationality, race, or skin color. Our main ideology is to survive another day. Okay, so what you like living among the enemy? You're acting like those USS Eldrick guys who are already sent 20 years into the past after the last, uh, that one accident. I have no enemies here for a quarter of a century almost. You think I'm still the cold-blooded agent I used to be when they dropped me down with my platoon in the mountains? The only thing that remains for me, my pre-war personality, is this tattoo. I don't care about missions or governments. The only thing I do care about is eating, sleeping and drinking. Okay, your tattoo says death before dishonor and seeing how you're still alive. Well, yeah, I, I am. So what? You wanna shame me with this? What does it matter, especially to you? The war is over. There's no more enemies and allies. We're one post-apocalyptic international nation. Not like the communists imagine it, though. Amigo, let's go. You're not planning to kill this humble... Hombre for stupid... For stupid reward, right? Last time I've checked it, even you were such a cold bastard. My child, my Soviet soldier, the protector of the communism. I understand your dilemma. Know that your old father will support you no matter what. But think about it, even though he is an, not of a proud stock, since communists cannot physically be cowards, Killing him for some prophecy capitalist doesn't sound like a true and honest action. Hey Jeff, remember how much that smuggler dude is gonna pay us for skinning this yank? Call me moral reckless, but I, s but I say we do it. The former special forces agent doesn't even look at you. His head's down. He's shining. Uh, bear your shoulder for me. Time for a little removal operational. Wait, what? Look at how huge this thing is! You cut my whole arm off! Speechcraft. While it is on your body, you will forever be a target. Go on. It won't be. <laughs> it won't even hurt. Probably. Uh. Speechcraft. Hope it's gonna work. Oh boy, I'm gonna regret it. Fine, cut it away. Oh my God, really? I'm doing this thing. The pain is getting to him fast. You carefully cut the tattoo skin off the man's shoulder. The skin be enough for the mysterious buyer. The American face is growing more and more pale. Meanwhile. He's losing blood fast. First aid. Oh, thank God, I've managed to fix him. 
Whew. Wait, he left? I didn't even read that thing. I never read those things. Oh, man. I wanted to take care of him. <laughs> Set, sent him to Red Fighter where he would be safe. Oh, man, that stinks. And since I got one more quest over here, according to a former postman, Kazdimi, a roasted meat joint in Paragon is actually a front for a mysterious underground criminal network that sends coded messages all over the wastes. The gang has some really influenced members, including local authorities. Is it also those guys? Sounds good. What kind of a meat is it? Sanity direct a strong, strong gaze at him. What? What is it? Is there something in my eye? Don't be shy. Make an order. An order of a juicy, tastiest, tender beast meat this side of the big lake. Or perhaps even the world. Okay. I would like to ask you a few questions first. Ask away. Uh. Hmm. I don't think that's the thing. 500 rubles for roasted meat. No, thank you. Uh, what's your connection to those guys over there? Uh, okay. No idea. Right, maybe those guys are the ones I'm looking for. Howdy. About your joint. What about it? Uh, the cooks are sangling. Six new portions of chicken meat need to be picked up by the usual spot. Confounding your expeditions, the man's smiley face changes not at all. He shrugs and calls out to his partner. They're ill than unexpected. Do you hear out, friend Anon? We need to travel out of town on a, for an inspection. Yeah, right now. Thanks for letting me know, buddy. Yeah. Cook, we need to go! Okay. Ah, probably I was not supposed to click that thing. Oh shit! Right, plan B. What's gonna happen if I'm just gonna open this thing? Okay. Listen. Uh, you don't hear anything. Open the door. Hold on, pal. This room is for stuff only. Okay. Right, so we have to speak with one of those guys once again. Uh, about your joint. Right? Oh, best talk you to my body over there. Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to your buddy Ivan over here. Uh, about your joint. What about it? Uh, the cooks are sending six new portions of chicken meat need to be picked up from the usual spot. Alright? And there they go! Once they're gonna leave the uh, perimeter, I'm gonna open up the door and basically invite myself in. Just wait for them to leave the map completely. Okay, I think that's... Yeah, there you go. Right. So back to my character. Open up the door. Oh! It's another location. That immediately starts with combat. What the fuck? The fuck is this supposed to be? Uh, okay. What the hell? Do they make porn over here? <laughs> oh, that's that corpse over there. What the fuck? Is that a? Is that a ball? That's a torture device. Son of a bitch! Okay. Right. Howdy, partner! How are you doing? Right in the face! Come on, boys! Good job. Right, let's take a look around. What exactly we're dealing here with? Alright, he didn't have anything. That's a bunch of stuff around this place. Alright, quality pistol, I guess. Okay, Hex again, take care of this thing. Wait, what the fuck is this? Oh yeah, the tattoo. <laughs> What the fuck is this place? Okay, some scraps. We're gonna take that thing to the base. Actually, no, we don't have time to take that thing to the base. The hell is this thing? Eight condoms. Alright. Alright. Uh, I really don't know what to think about this place, but holy fucking shit, it's terrifying. A rope? Sure. And the side of this thing? Okay, gasoline. I can actually take that thing. Pistol, so ammo. Okay, and uh, armor penetration armor is ammo is only always good. Well, 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 well. A poem. Let's see what the poem has. Beast song, bird song, fires ablaze. Spirits awoken, gather around the flames. Midsummer night, take it all away. God of the woods, great, great pan, 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 great pan, I, I O pan. No idea what that thing is. List of Paragon... Garments? 
Chalcedemi. Here's the list of. Here the list absolutely ends with a large tear uh, in the paper. True guard. List of Paragon governments. Okay. Nikolai Slipy Slipkovsky, Vladimir Kushtin, Abdul Shakim, Leonid Leonia Abramov, Sanjor the Crab. Okay, and this thing. Do not forget, should waste the rest of the meat, I have the nagging sus suspicion someone wants to settle the score with us. That meat should go on the spit as always. Buy new tapes for the cameras, the old ones are full and awaiting sending to the government. Do something about the noise cancellation. During the last few games, the screams were heard uh, above ground. People asked questions, not good. Buy new crossbow bolts, work on the situation with the driver that wants out the deal. Better support. What's going on on the Bandit Fortress? Where is the fresh meat? The Soviet scout captured by the SS room is way too popular. Should have to talk about expanding it. I... What? What? You start climbing when a strong beam of light blinds you. Someone is shining a flashlight on you. Dark figures with assault rifles are standing in your path. Continue. Hi guys! Carefully never taking their eyes off you. A small troop of cutthroats emerges from the shadows. Now that the area is surrounded by tough looking men, Ethan and Ivan, the owners of the meat roasting, sh should step back. They level their head guns on your chest. Ivan speaks first. And here I was thinking it was idle cover up. Just not just using a K4 up for a front, but actually running the business properly and making the best damn roasted meat around. Oh, so no one would doubt that this all you're doing with your sad life. What coded you in? Hey, Ivan, it was the letter you sent to your pal in Krasidimi. Maybe you won't believe me, but the man who put me into this was you was a strange, yet millet man at old postman. What do you mean? I didn't see nothing. Take me take me into the abyss uh, and I'll crack. Uh, the letter was sent to your pal in Krasidimi. Ah, I'll have to make the cheaper strong this time. Thanks. Bye now. The fix will never get away with this. We always get away with this before. Today is no different. Hey, comrades, crooks and butchers, maybe there is no way to avoid this bloodshed. I'm afraid not, Grandpa. The bandits said uh, their aim, they're about to shoot. A lie, speech cap. I don't recommend you do that. I'm from Atom. Uh, strength, dexterity, attack first. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Shall we dance? Attack! Okay, how many of them? Right, few of them. Marker of pistol. Rusty PPS. Rusty PPS. Uh, M712, Molotov, and hunting rifle. Right, burst! Fire! One down! Okay, I am in front, I got a lot of hit points, I can take it. Uh, too bad I can throw grenades actually. Hello! Six damage. Twelve, fifteen. Okay, that's a grenade. Oh shit, that's actually a lot of damage. Jam it already? Well, not my problem. Ow! 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 Okay, boys! Take them down! Uh, I said you can take them down. Good shot. Okay, I need to access inventory. Right. First things first. Super steam pack. Load the grenades. Swap the grenades. And throw! Oh! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy that thing. He's still alive, jam it. Uh oh. Hex again, survive, man! Survive! He survived! Don't use the bloody ass pills! The pills are bad for you! He's running around like a. <laughs> He's already dead! Okay. So I'm back to my assault rifle. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't need to do burst. Single shot. Fire! Dead. Dead. Easy. So basically with all the quests done, we just have to now return them back to Krasidimi and well We will see how much experience points we're gonna get from all of those things I I think I got like around three quests to return over here. So first things first the sewers But before I'm gonna do anything uh, you guys remember like one of the first very first episodes uh, We found ourselves like this this cult in the catacombs of Krasidimi, right? Uh, we've killed the bastards and basically well, I, I thought that there was some type of a quest over here expect of the fact that you had to kill them um, no, it turned out later on that there was nothing over here. However, 
there is a secret apparently you have to blow up this thing and i just got the tool for that thing so i'm gonna use this thing because this is gonna be uh, out of turn so okay 40 seconds should be more than enough drop it on the ground and run run <laughs> get the fuck out of there faster okay there you go right it's clear I actually want to know how many for the game is 40 seconds because last time when I've tried to use the explosives uh, 40 seconds was like What two minutes almost in game time? I mean in real time Is that how long is 40 seconds? Honestly Dude, I've set it to 40 seconds not 40 hours. Ah, oh, Jesus fine Christ. Come on blow up already. It did blow up Okay Oh, there's something inside Hello Amulet of shadows. The fuck is that? Wow. Yo, okay. Works only in the dark. <laughs> Equipment phase. One attention, one dexterity, one uh, strength, 30 stealth. Not bad. Not bad at all. Obviously, there's some door over here, but I don't know how to open those things. Just want to point it out really quick. Uh, okay, so let's play with Simon over here. Right. The skin. Yes, the skin with the tattoo is right here. Let's order it. Bravo, my savior. Nikila was getting a bit nervous. Give it to me carefully. Don't mess it up. There. You carefully cut over the piece of skin and gently place it in a small metal box, the inside of which reeks of strange chemicals. Awesome. The box closes. Yada yada yada. But if you're waiting for a reward, <laughs> I've got you covered, my friend. Here's 1,000 rubles for the job, as well as a 100 rubles bonus. He directly passes you a wad of cash and also pushes a bag out from under the table with his foot. Here's some ammo and other helpful stuff too. You know, medkits, steams, everything you might find useful on the road. Just get huggle with me, okay? That's your cut from the guy who hired us both. This stuff definitely won't hurt. Next a bunch. Nah, keep the stuff. I don't need it. Uh, take the stuff, but leave the money to me. Yeah, I actually want experience points, so I think he's gonna give me more experience points if I won't get it from him. The man looks surprised, but quickly pucks out the loot he offered a second before. It's gone. Good, good. So, my friend, are you sitting in another job? I always got something to do. Sure. Secret to anyone from apart from this pretty stupid that I am also deep into the drug trade. It's a lucrative end if you know the right people. Save gig. Much more stable than delivering tattooed skins to the rich, rich weirdos. Some small fly deals on the other uh, side independently, sure. But the, uh, but the catch as me and my comp uh, companion's transfer are much more better in both quality and size. Before the secret cartel decides to infiltrate with us, we have nothing to be afraid of. When we transfer our stuff through the wastes, yeah, they had the other courier meter exchange, okay? I need you to go to the crossroads, get the stuff from uh, the courier, or from the tree if the courier is no longer there, and bring the package to me personally. What happens next is none of your business. Do we have a deal? Sure. Sure. Drug trade, I don't know. It's so criminal. No problem, the drug prayed pearls well, trust me, I'm an expert. And now, small girl gestures you on the map. Go there and remember, if nobody meets you at the tree, dig around in the hollow. Yeah, sure, but I don't have time for that thing because, well, we're going to the dead city. First things first, we have to call, uh, talk with the commander of the militia of Krasadimi. Right, uh, I have the business to discuss. Here's the head of Ak Ahmed Somayakov or whatever. Whoa, I know that face. You're a true hero. Here, 200 rubles. You've earned it. Fair and square. Yeah, it didn't give me too much of experience points, you know. Glad to be of a service. Uh, nothing else. Thank you. Right. So that's a bit of a more experience. Now, let's go to the uh, Chamber of Commerce. I believe it was this building. And we need to tell them that... Uh, another city have agreed to cause the authority. Oh, I forgot about the dead pig. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, oh no, no! Yeah, well, that happens, you know. Right, Ivan Ivanov, and of course Ivan Ivanovich is drunk and sleeping. Wake up, you bastard! Hello. Right, uh, as a task of yours, I'm all ears, it's all. Kavrasiri will accept Kazadimi as it de jure souvenir. Great job, college, wonderful. So move of knows what's best for him. This is very wise. Soon he will realize just how right this decision was. As the mycelium says, we're strong, will we are united. I like it. It's very to the point. Don't. Don't. I may by mistake actually shoot you. No. Okay, he's giving me 2,000 rubles. Uh, yeah, actually, the travel alone cost me more than this. It's all fairness. You should add a little something on the top. 
Speech craft. Come on, Ivanovich. Okay, and he gave me a bonus as well. Thank you. Oh, he gave me something as well. I'm over, <laughs> overwhelmed right now. Okay, uh, right, so that's everything from him, I guess. What did he give me? Oh, some food. Great. Alexander, what? You're my mule. I know, but really, yes. Take it all. Take it all, dude. The cheese as well. Why? Because you smell. Right. So that thing is done. Uh, I don't think there's anything of interest for me uh, in the Chamber of Commerce. So I am moving my ass out of here right now before the guy from the pig notices <laughs> that I've killed the pool thing. Oh, well, the pig itself asked me to do so, right? I know that's something a crazy person would say, but really, watch the previous episode. That's what the pig asked me to do. And the final, 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 final thing to do uh, is speak with the comrade that is apparently somewhere over here. I think it was this guy or the guy outside. I don't remember. Uh, so do you know you sold tapes to human traff traffickers? Oh no! How you will be? S <laughs> Now you too will be spreading the, this nonsense? I'm serious, they had a secret base in Paragon. Yeah, yeah, an atom is real. I don't have time for those phobias. Did you want to see a film? A spy story, maybe? Why not? What's on today? I'm just gonna leave you before I'm gonna murder you, my, my mistake. Okay, the guy outside. Right, let's see. Reg regarding conspiracy. I had. Uh, it's hard to admit, but you were right. I saw it. Tell him what you saw. Oh, oh dear, so I was right. What terrible things have happened in the world. It is right what they say. Beware the darkness so you will perish where there is only weeping and gassing of teeth. What a plot have we unearthed in plain view with a smile with a smell of proper m mute to barbecue. Conic like devils. Someone else might even say it. I could learn something from them, but I can't stand such insolence information. We've done a good, you've got, you've done a good job. Oh, he gave me like a lot of money and a bunch of experience. Thank you. Wow, I didn't expect to get money from. I thought you were unemployed. The words don't reach the man. He puts the bundle of notes in your hands, silent and looks as if he's about to leave. And then suddenly something seems to stop him. He turns back to you with a friendly smile. Tell me, what did you see in Anton's and Ivan's eyes when you killed them? Nothing unusual. Fear, hate. Uh, pity. I hope that will be something like bitter remorse, resilience, and they had to make a mistake. Well, the lesson was tough, even if they didn't learn it. Thank you. Wait, what lesson? The lesson is, if you want to make a barbecue, go for it, but leave delivering the post to the postman. <laughs> really? He was more upset the fact that they were playing postman, that they were actually cooking people alive. Well, okay, cutting people alive. From human trafficking. Oh, Jesus, thank Christ, man. This game. This fucking game. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, everything, well, the, the majority of the things are done, I think. I don't think there's anything else interesting for me to do uh, in the Krasadimi or in the wastes. Yeah, sure, there's like a few quests here and there. But I've gathered supplies. I've gathered my allies. I've equipped them with the best things I could. Uh, with the best possible weapons I could find. With, with a bunch of explosives as well. I even found myself up. Uh, uh, modified Dragon of Sniper Rifle, which is apparently quite good and have some quite interesting damage But I don't know how this thing is gonna help me in the in the blood as metro So yeah, that's gonna be the thing next episode We are going back to the dead city and well, we're gonna search the entire metro just to find Answers of what exactly has happened to the expedition, but that's gonna be the thing for the next episode so Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the next episode. Please up a lot. I'll see you in the next video